Hey, this is Tiger Geek Woman Adventures with Rhiannon in Stardew Valley, Part 1 17. Welcome to my channel. All my new subscribers, you make my day every single day when I look at my app and there's more of you. So, welcome. There's going to be a secret word of the day sometime in this video. Use that word down in the comments below and be creative. This is a retired slow play, meaning I take my time. However, there is a plan for this playthrough. Please subscribe and like my videos. It makes YouTube like me better and it makes my day to see that. So thank you so much for doing that for me. There's a community tab and about tab and playlists all on my main channel. So go check that out for important information. This is my retirement gig. So if you want to help a retired senior gamer, there's a Patreon account with a link down below in the descriptions. And the most important thing, I want you to take note, get some piece of paper if you write things out or get whatever it is that you make notes on this is very important are you ready let's have some fun that's what we're going to do with this playthrough is we're going to have some fun so that's the most important thing and we are going to start having fun right now but first i have a very important embarrassing disclaimer so I had uh, recorded a couple episodes back to back and my microphone was not working properly and I didn't know it. And the episodes were really good and had some really good stuff happen in them. And the way that Stardew Valley works, unfortunately, is when you sleep, you save over your game. So there's no go backs. I couldn't go back and replay those days, but they were really important days. They had some stuff in them I wanted you guys to see. Well, you don't want to look at a screen with me sitting there talking and my head talking and you can't hear me. So what I did was I went back and I re-recorded just my face and talking over the episode, but occasionally you can see my other self behind me. So I'm so sorry. I only did it on these two episodes, the previous one and this one. So hopefully it won't happen again. So my apologies. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, 678,000. It is the 20th day of spring in year number four. It is Shane's birthday and Shane is like at the bottom of our list. So we have been, uh, I want to say goofing off on Ginger Island for quite a while now. Oh, look at Abigail. Zero hearts. What happened there? I thought we had at least one. Um, Shane loves beer. Now that's fascinating that he loves beer because our um, dear Pam gave us a beer for her last thing. She's been sending us really great uh, items for gifts and stuff. That's the first beer. In my 11-year playthrough, she sent me beer all the time. So I found that to be fascinating. So today we're not going to be able to uh, mess around, I don't think, on Gender Island. I think that we need to uh, get caught up here on the farm because we did two pretty well full days there. And um, so I think it's time to kind of uh, catch up. We put all of the things away that uh, have anything to do with the mine or uh, the volcano or, you know, the food we don't have, you know, whatever foods we had. Um, the dagger, uh, I wasn't sure where to put it. I don't. I think I want to hang on to it for a little while, but I, I'm probably going to end up selling it. There's my galaxy sword. You know, again, I'm looking at it again. It's like, oh, wow, uh, that's a late game weapon. But my galaxy sword is also a late game weapon. So um, anyway, I, I was trying to decide what to do with it. This is my chest where I can put uh, rings, boots, hats, those kinds of things. And I was thinking, why can't I put my... Uh, uh, my sword in there and then I realized you can't put swords here this is clothing <laughs> clothing um okay let's see here I don't know what to do with this prismatic shard um uh, it uh, at first I thought that I already had one I thought well where um you know it where is it and then I realized when I put my mouse on it that says Gunther can tell you more about this you do have to give one to the museum to donate one the first one we got though we used to make our galaxy sword so i had thought this was the the uh third one it's the second one 
So I was very excited. It's like, okay, what do I do with it? I don't know what to do with it. I haven't decided what to do with it. Um, so anyway, I'm trying to put everything away that I can. I thought, oh, you know, that, that cheese probably ought to go in there. We're probably going to use it again, though, so, because it sure saved our butt. Um, so anyway, I thought maybe we should get going on our day here. I was like, well, don't run away from me. That was Harvey Jr. and little Rose, our two little tots. By the way, they stay tots forever. What do we got here? Uh, you're lucky I found you last night. You were unconscious as someone was searching your pockets. I have no idea how much they took. They ran away as soon as I approached. Be more careful, Linus. Uh, thank you, Linus. I don't know how much either. I think it's a thousand. Hello, friend. The mountain lake has been kind to me lately. I'd like to share my good fortune with you, Linus. So I just absolutely adore Linus. He is just, he is the sweetest thing. His story arc is really interesting. Um, I just really like him a lot. So anyway, uh, what I was doing here was double checking my list. And it has not reset as far as giving gifts. Alex, Sandy, um, Jazz, and Leah are our next two people. And so I had to update my list. I also went through and uh, made a list of the loved gifts of, the, uh, of Leah and Jazz because I didn't have them on my list of things that they loved. So... Um, I went back and I went to the wiki to find out what those items were. I knew some of them, uh, but I wanted to make sure I had a complete list so that um, we can give the the best gifts to someone. You don't have to do that. You can hit and miss and make mistakes and um, and whatever. But you know, to get it faster, that's what I do. So. All right, guys, uh, we need to get busy and get some work done. Put away resources that we found and um, resource, resource, resource. And um, if that's all on that. I still don't know what to do with this prismatic shard because it's, you know, we're going to get more, but not very many. And I want to hang on to it. How many we got? 40 Jade. We're saving Jade up because we have to go to the 100th level of the Skull Cavern. The fast way to get to Skull Cavern is to use the uh, the stairways and drop down. So that's what I was doing as I was uh, counting them. So let's see. We're going to get rid of that. I'm going to give that as a gift. Um, so I really thank uh, Pam for sending me that. That's going to come in useful whenever we do get to use it. This was an artifact, so I was making sure I put it in the right place. I had it in the wrong chest. So this is my artifact chest, and it's like, it's a mineral. I'm not going to put it in the mineral chest. First off, I think the mineral chest is full. I reckon no, it is. So, you know, it's like figuring out where things need and want to go. Put away our iridium ore. And again, I'm just pondering this. It's like, okay, where do I put that uh, prismatic shard? I, I, I'm kind of thinking maybe it needs to go in the house. And I just want to put it in a safe place. I mean, I need to remember uh, where to put it. So, again, I'm looking here. So, the secret word of the day is chest by the bed. So, now I need you guys to remind me when I can't find my prismatic shard, I want you to tell me that it's in the chest by the bed. Please use chest by the bed as the secret word of the day down in the comments. And use it in a sentence, if you will. Um, this is a fun game that I've been playing. I, people seem to like it, so I love doing it. It makes me laugh. So anything that makes any makes me laugh might make someone else laugh, and that's something that I. The goal that I have every day is to make people laugh. I've been that way my whole working life. Is if I can make somebody laugh, then I have been successful. And so if I made you laugh, great. That is a goal. I don't have, work in an office anymore. I don't have anybody to make laugh anymore. Um, so you're my person. So we need to get on with it and get some work done today. We got one piece of ginger that makes a 22. That task will fall off our, our list eventually because we're not going to be able to achieve it. Like, okay, let's get in work mode. I probably should have put my sword away too. Uh, the only thing I have on my top row usually is my hoe in case I see any um, thing that any wormy thingies artifact spots. So we need to love all of our animals. It's been days. Oh my gosh. We want to make sure everybody gets love today. 
spell. Okay, there they look pretty good. So you can lose hearts with your pets, and they don't give you as good of quality products. So it's very important that you um, love on your animals every day. And um, I'm what I'm doing is holding my right mouse button down and then walking along, and it it gives them all love. So let's see what our auto grabber got us. Holy Toledo! Oh my gosh! Look at all this milk. <laughs> Yeah, so we're getting a backlog of milk, which is great. And oh man, my OCD will not let me leave this where it is. It's like, nope, I have to put the milk in order of quality. And that's the goat milk. There we go. And there's the bucket that I always forget to put away. So we're ahead and that's fine. We're ahead of the game. I don't believe I'll ever get any more cheese presses. I've always just done three, but you never know. I may get another one, make it even four. It just depends. If we end up getting a bunch of goats, uh, which I'm really hoping we get some baby goats right now. It seems to be cows are us. We've got two baby cows that have been born on the farm. Um, if we get a, if baby, if we start filling up with baby goats, then we might increase the amount of uh, cheese presses that we have. So I love those auto grabbers. They just grabbed all the eggs so we didn't lose anything. And there we go. All right, off we go. Now let's check our greenhouse. It has been a really long time <laughs> since we've been in here. And uh, look at that. Oh my gosh. It is, um, it is Ancient Fruit Harvest Day and Starfruit Harvest Day both. And we're going to harvest our trees. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Our biggest money maker really is starfruit wine that has been aged 54 days. But since you have to replant it, then that's why I've only got the, the uh, 24 of them down below. And I've got three patches of 24 of the ancient fruit because you don't have to replant it. But I like to have ancient fruit wine anyway. I like, I'm a variety person. If you've watched any of my episodes, you will know that I like variety um, on my farm. I like to have different ways of making money and I like variety. So anyway, I was really excited that all that happened. We get to harvest everything. We got three more trees growing off to the left. And once those are mature, we are only one tree, I think, one tree short of having all the trees of the fruit cheese that are available for um, uh, to grow. So I'm really excited about that. And they'll grow year round because they're in the greenhouse. So it's like, okay, I'm double checking. What I'm trying to do is get 24 packets of star fruit seeds. So we'll see how we do here. And I did not mean to put those other ones in. It's like, oopsie, I got 15. We'll see what we end up getting. No, I don't want to eat a star fruit. I want to put one more in. I think I need that. So we'll see how many we get. I don't want to overmake because I don't want to have spares. Um, if I can help it. That's 19. So and we got one more that's popping up there. Let's see what it got us. Three more. All right. 22. So we only need uh, two more. So we'll just do one more piece. And that well, the reason why I like to save them is because I want to make uh, star fruit wine. So the more we have available to us, the more we can make and the more money we make. And that is a good thing. So we're kind of saving them up here. It takes 10 seconds to make a packet of seeds. I don't think, think 10 seconds is a waste of my day. I got one extra, which is fine. We'll go put that in the chest and we'll get that next time. So um, let's go get it planted. All right. There we go. It only takes a few seconds. If I remember it, I've forgotten before and come by the next day and say, oh good, my... uh. Uh, Deluxe Bee Grow is still there. <laughs> so awesome. All right. Let's go put all this away. Look at all this stuff that's ready. So we've got some kind of jelly that's ready. It's probably ancient fruit jelly. Yep. We don't have anything else in there. We've got plenty of ancient fruits. How about we just make some more? So eventually we'll be doing other fruits. Uh, right now we're just doing the ancient fruit as our production of our uh, farm increases. More, you know, fruits from the trees, uh, more crops and things like that. It's just going to take a little while to ramp it up. But in the meantime, we've got so many star fruits. We're, I mean, ancient fruits, we're doing fine. And let's see. So I'm going to put all these away and then kind of look, eyeball it and see what we got. So we're going to do ancient fruit wine again. Uh, eventually, 
we're going to be doing all kinds of fruits, uh, wines, and the reason is ancient fruit wine does take 54 days to age, but the other fruit wines, we don't age them. We just throw them right in the shipping bin. So that's pretty good fast money. So uh, we'll do that eventually. Right now we need to kind of save our seeds so that we can propagate our own seeds. And uh, that is a big deal to me, which I'll talk about later um, on when time comes. So uh, right now we're going to put all that away. And let's run down into the cellar and drop off this cheese that we got and the wines that we got and see if anything's ready. Any yes 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 those are aimed aged goat cheese aged goat cheese makes a ton there's 15 barrels in a row here so i need 15 so i didn't have enough goat cheese so we're going to do the uh milk just regular cheese the distinction if you look at it is either uh cheese or goat cheese the cheese is regular um uh milk regular from oh my gosh okay here's what happened so i've got these extra barrels down here that i'm waiting until the wine is done in them and they're waiting because i don't want to put anything in them yet and so i accidentally um put some in there i didn't mean to so i chopped it to get it out and so these middle ones are fine once this is all set up properly that won't happen again but until it does i can act Accidentally put cheese in something I don't mean to. So the bottom row needs to stay for the wines. And I think what I did was accidentally, yep, I'm missing a cheese. And I thought, okay, did, is it down there in that bottom row? Which is what I think. It's down there in that bottom row. So the answer is yes. What did I do? I'm thinking this through. What did I do? How do we get there? There we go. There it is. I knew it was somewhere. <laughs> it just took me a minute to find it. Now, there we go. So now our middle row is once again cheese and we've got 15 aged goat cheeses. So we've got that, mayonnaise and ancient fruit jellies all in the shippy bin today. So I can't wait until morning to see how much we're going to make from all of that. That's very exciting. We're going to make good money. So remember that 678 is where we currently are. So I wanted to um, not miss the birthday of Shane. And I wanted to show you there, he has two hearts before we give him his birthday gift, which his birthday gift is a loved item. And so we're going to give him a loved item. We'll show how that can help on their birthdays. So, I mean, you can increase relationships all kinds of ways. You can talk to them, give them love gifts any day of the year. But birthdays are a big deal. I thought he might be in here. I don't, Shane, I don't know his schedule very well, but he's often in this arcade. So I thought, well, let's go check there first. And oh, look, he just showed up. I had no idea. I'm surprised that you're still trying to make friends with me. Haven't I been rude enough to you yet? You absolutely have been rude to me, Shane. But you know what? I'm a better person. Here's a birthday gift. Oh, it's my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. So even though Shane has been rude, we're going to be unrude right back. So let's look where he's at now. Where is he? Oh my gosh. We have two new hearts with Shane. Look at that. So Shane is higher hearts than Leah and Jazz. He's more hearts than, than those two. So guess what? We're going to change our list to have um, Alex, Sandy, Shane, and Jazz. So it's going to change our list. because And because I work OCD-wise, um, I have to say, okay, here's my list. Uh, you know, where do they fit on it? And... Um, so he'll be one. And what I also did, went back and looked at all the things that he loves. Um, and we can make beer. So probably ought to make up some beer to have it handy and give him a gift. Uh, twice a week is all we can give people, except for their birthday weeks. We can give them two gifts on their birthday, or give them three gifts on their birthday week. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and get some of that made up. 
been a long time since I've made beer. Beer is actually a pretty good money maker, but I'll tell you a life true thing. I hate the taste of beer. I have since I was a child. Uh, my dad gave me a sip of beer when I was a kid and it's like, oh, that's so gross. And you know how parents do stuff like that and then they say, now remember that? I guess I've always have. I've tried it multiple times through my life uh, just in case because I thought, oh, maybe it's just me. I just don't like beer. I can't stand the taste of it. Um, so anyway, and I don't think that's necessarily why, because I also hate mayonnaise. So mayonnaise, uh, yuck, I hate mayonnaise, and I don't know why that is, e that is either, but I don't like to touch it. I don't like to clean it up. I don't like to touch the jar or any of those things. So awesome here. I saw that our uh, unmilled rice was ready, and eventually we'll get a mill. I also forgot that I missed a few of those uh, honeys that's tulip honey we got and it is the we've got an, I think enough time to make more rice it takes eight days so because we've got deluxe speed row, grow that's going to take two days shorter it should only be six days so um, I thought you know what let's go ahead and make some we need seven for our little spot down there and again this is just a again it's variety it's things that are different that make me yeah i wanted to see how many i'd get i got one i wasn't sure i put in four got one more oh, i got four what i mean that's got eight look at that out of four i got eight so that worked out really well um so it's a it's a it's a process it's a, a growing thing look so we don't have a ton of mill rice that's okay um, each season we're going to get a little bit more. We're going to get seven more before the end of this spring. And you can only plant this in the spring. If you plant it near water, you don't have to water it. Um, so I thought that's kind of a good thing to do. I had um, also not done the bottom, what I call the bottom half chores. That includes grabbing the bait um, from the bait bin. That includes getting any of these, uh, the pine, this is what pine tar uh, from our trees there. I did see that we do have a wormy thingy, otherwise known as an artifact spot, and it gave us four rice shoots. What? Ah, and we have too many um, rainbow trout. I thought, let's go plant these while I'm still thinking of it. There's seven of them growing now. Perfect. They'll be done before the end of the season. We'll keep an eye on that. I'm pretty sure it'll be done on the 26th, um, so that's perfect. And then we're going to fish up some of these rainbow trouts um in our pond here that makes room for more rainbow trouts i'm trying to get a special item that that comes in the little bucket right there it's usually row that we get uh, but there's a couple of special items that it gives us sometimes so that's what i'm waiting for um, i'm hoping that it happens i don't remember it ever happening to me uh, but i thought what the heck let's give it a try how rare can it be the answer is very rare <laughs> so that's okay no problem so we're going to keep working it and pull our coral out. So in eight more days, we're going to need to plant our fall crops. And we are going to need our um, deluxe speed grow. And before that time, I will make it up. Uh, we have some in stock, but we need a lot more. We want to plant the whole field. I want to have enough to plant the whole field. Um, so I'm kind of looking around, seeing what else have, do we need to do. Looks like something the Junimos have harvested. Don't fish for them. Stop clicking that. Like, uh, yes, that's strawberries. We got to get our strawberries. And I love these multiple harvests on these strawberries. We're going to be able to put those in the preserve jars. We could also make strawberry wine. Um, so I'm just very excited to see that we're getting more. I love that. Um, and thought, you know what, let's double check our preserve jars and let's put 21 of these in here. It doesn't matter which ones. Uh, let's just pop those in there. There we go. 21. That's going to be our next thing that we're going to put in the preserve jars. We'll make strawberry preserves. So let's put all the stuff away that we can. Strawberries, strawberries, and strawberries. And we also got these extra rice shoots that was a that cracked me up that was an artifact spot and we got extra rice shoots and i forgot to put them away oh my gosh yeah really embarrassing to show you guys all the mistakes that i make uh because they are very plentiful they are so plentiful but hey you know what i'm a real person so some things i'll try to cut out when i can 
other things you're just going to see. Um, it is what it is. So I got tulip honey that gets to go in the shipping bin. So that's another thing that's going to give us food, give us money. Man, we're going to make a bunch of money overnight tonight. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah, let's see here. Oh, I forgot to put away the uh, row that we got. So we're going to end up with 22 pieces of row. Then I go in and, and uh, uh, pop it in and uh, make uh, row preserve. I forget what it is. It makes aged row or something. Again, it's another uh, revenue stream. I like having different things. Like I started to say earlier on this episode, I really do like variety. Um, it's fun for me to have a variety. So, all right, it is midnight. It is time to get in bed, and I can't wait to see how much money we're going to be making overnight. So that's always an exciting thing for me. Look at this. Oh, my gosh, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Goat cheese, 14,000. Ancient fruit jelly, 24,000. So it's worth it for me to wait on those things. So awesome. It is now the 21st day of spring in year number four. 719,000. So, oh my gosh, we're making really good money. Seven, we almost have a million. Good morning there, little darling. It is, uh, there's nobody's birthday today, so that's a good thing. And, um, oh, look, we get some coffee beans that are ready. So there's our coffee. We've hacked up that plat more than once eventually we need to get a coffee machine we'll find out how to do that um so that we can make coffee for our beloved harvey it's his favorite thing is coffee i know a lot of players use coffee because of the speed so they drink coffee all the time and i don't know i just don't see the need good morning harvey dear i got up early and fed all the farm animals i hope that makes your job a little easier today I believe this must be the ideal place to raise children scientifically. What do you think? I don't think it's scientifically. I just think it is a wonderful place to raise children. So with all the nice people we have in town. I found this recipe in a magazine, thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it. Shane, pepper poppers. So we got a new, oh, and Robin gives us some wood, which reminded me that I needed to go see her. So we'll see if we'll get around to it. So, pepper poppers. Yeah, Shane loves pepper poppers. He loves beer and pepper poppers. So, look at these giant cauliflowers, guys. We had three early in the season. We've got two more. That's five in one season. It's like, what the heck? It's cauliflower mania. And all I want is a melon. I just want the melons. They come out in the summer. Hopefully we'll get lucky and get a giant melon in our special decorative spot down by the honey. Like, holy cow. I can't. No pun intended. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. So let's see. I was double checking to make sure everybody got loved on. I thought I missed some and I did. There's Belle. And... Marie, there she is. She's the, the newest member of the family. I want to make sure that she got loved on so that we'll get higher quality milk from her as well. All right, let's do our auto grabber milk. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're going to pop it all in our chest now that it's complete. Oh, no, we got to do this again. Are you serious? We never had any gold star large milk. Now it's all out of order. Yep, I have to change it. Yep, I have to change it. I just can't leave it. It it drives me crazy to leave it. That's just me, guys. There we go. Grab three and pop them in. So eventually, I hope we have all goats in here. But taking a while, for some reason, we just seem to keep making cows. There we are. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Lots and lots of eggs today. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'll do dinosaur eggs today. More dinosaur mayonnaise. That money sure was nice yesterday, wasn't it? I like that. It's great, and you can do that every day, but it doesn't happen every day. We have to wait for things. So, awesome. Pop in here. Everything looks fine. 
So I just pop in every day if I'm not at running to Ginger Island at, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh boy. Like, okay, let's continue our chores while the Junimos are doing theirs. I'm going to run down to the cellar, put this cheese away. And everything going just peachy. Can't wait to get those wines. That's going to make big money for us. I can't wait. So I'm thinking about this rabbit's foot. And I, it seems to me I read somewhere that a lot, the rabbit's foot is loved by every person in town except for one person. Can you believe that? So rabbit's feet are loved by everyone. So there's, whenever you look up someone, like I look up somebody, um, you know, whoever, Shane or whatever, it tells you that it says on the wiki link down below that they love what their loved items are. But it also above that says universal loves. Universal loves are not on the list. You have to go find out what the universal loves are. And I found out that the rabbit's foot is a universal loved item by every person in town except for one person. So, um, I don't want to give, I mean, I don't have that many rabbit's feet. What, I got three? I don't, I don't have that many. But if I don't have anything and it's somebody's birthday and I'm trying to get them over the top of their, uh, of the list, then I know I can go get one of those rabbit's feet if I have spares. So I'm going to try to remember to start saving those. And uh, look at these cauliflowers. Oh my gosh. That's insane. So these giant cauliflowers, you have to hit them. I think it's an axe. Let me double check here. Yes, 18. Out of 9 plants, we got 18. Out of 9 plants, we got 13. So those giant cauliflowers just aren't a weird curiosity. They give you a ton of crop. Double. Almost. I mean, if you add those two together, I mean, that's, that is insane. That's insane. So I was so excited to see those, even though I'm going to chop them up. And we've down below, it's a decorative area. I've talked about it before. I'll tell, talk about it again. Um, so if we got one, we would leave it there until the summer, and then we would chop it and plant the melon, which is what I'm really trying to get. So what I'm looking at is, okay, now that our uh, main crop, we can no longer grow it. We only have seven days left in the season. And I had planned planned for this when I had picked out other things I can grow. So I'm going to take all but one of these packets so I can leave one for a placeholder and go plant all of these. So there's four days on that. I wasn't paying attention to what potatoes are. Garlic, um, four days for the garlic. So that way uh, I've got something growing in the field. That's, so my field isn't just sitting there doing nothing. Now I made as many packets of seeds as I possibly could. So if we take what's here and when it grows, we run it through the seed maker, then we'll have even more. And I wanted to double check here. It's like, okay, yeah, um, I could do a few more uh, garlic. I could do a few more parsnips. I could do a few more potatoes. I really wished I had done the rhubarb. Um, I don't have enough. So, and I hadn't, they, they can't be grown. They don't have enough time. So I wanted to put away the row. It's like, all right, let's double check. I've got this planting area here. Uh, I've got cauliflowers still that need to mature and be picked. But we could plant around them. That's no problem. I also had that one empty spot that I complete. I knew about. I found. I saw it, um, but I never really planted anything there. I thought, okay, we're gonna go fix that spot with something because it's been bugging me all se all second planting season. It's like okay, and I had seen it. And I knew about it, but it needs to be fertilized. So there we go. All right, so we can plant plants around the cauliflower that's currently growing. That's fine. And that way we're not wasting any planting time, even though we only have seven days left in the season. We can grow these and uh, have more stuff to put in our chest, plus uh, continue on with our goal of being self-sufficient. I've talked about this off and on, but not for a while. Um, one of my rules for myself is to be self-sufficient and not have to buy seeds from Pierre. So uh, 
that's what I'm trying to do. I want to plant enough so that I can propagate them and not have to buy any. This season, we did have to buy some cauliflower seeds at the beginning of the season. Um, but we didn't have to buy any for the second planting. So I was very proud and happy about that. Look at those Junimos getting in my way. Get out of my way, little guys. So I'm not going to have enough to fill the field up. But that, I mean, I could if I went back and got more garlic and more parsnips, but I'm okay with that. We'll just let the rest of the field go. Um, and good, we're doing really good. And look at this, we got more cauliflower. You guys rock. I thought they were done when I picked up the other and they didn't. There we go, look at this, all this cauliflower. That is fantastic. We will have more than enough to make our own seeds for the next season. And I'm going to take 21 of them and put them in here so we can get pickled cauliflower. So we can do strawberries and pickled cauliflower. Eventually I'll have like four or five things ahead. Um, you know, like, as I've said before, I'm, I'm not quite there, uh, because I need to propagate my own seeds, but eventually we'll have more than enough. Look at all those cauliflower. Beautiful. We have more than enough for us to make the seeds we will need for next season. As I started to say, to me, one of my goals for myself is that I don't ever need to buy anything from Pierre. And, um, so next spring we won't have to buy cauliflower. Um, hopefully we won't have to buy anything, but we will see how that goes. Um, I'm looking at the next season, which is coming up. Normally I start working on seeds halfway through, um, yeah, halfway through the, se the, the season for the next season's seeds. Well, that's a hard tongue twister. And I've not been doing that. I've been messing around on Ginger Island, which is fine. I've been enjoying that like crazy. Uh, but we need a lot of melon seeds. So... At a very, very, very minimum, I need 300. Um, I really want to have 600 if I can, because that's the seeds I'm going to need for the whole season. So um, we'll see if we if we have enough. I'm pretty sure that I have enough. I missed one of my spots there. Um, I've seen people talking about this um, on the forum that they think that seed makers are a waste of time and money, resources. And I would say uh, it depends on your play style. My rule for myself is to be self-sufficient. So my seed makers are very, very, very important to me. <laughs> so um, totally part of the game for me to be able to have these seed makers and make my own seeds. So I'm, I'm way okay. I'm, it's, a, it's important to me. So uh, we're going to keep working on them here. We've got a little time, no big deal. And again, we've got seven days left in the season but um i really don't want to I, I normally start on this in a very casual way around the 15th of the month but because we've been um you know gender island so much lately i didn't get started on it when i should and we got behind and uh, but it, i've been having a really good time i hope you have to we'll be going back to gender island quite a bit it's really got a lot of fun content and um, and just keep working on it a little at a time and as time permits. We do have to be um, uh, be good farmers, take care of our farm, uh, take care of our animals, uh, take care of our family. Those are all important things too. So um, we will keep working at it as we go. So um, I think I have eight. One, three, four. Yeah, I have eight. And I may add a couple more to, to do the whole wall right there. Uh, Ten would be a nice even number to remember instead of eight. <laughs> I remember, though, because I'm the one that put them there. I know. I remembered something. Isn't that crazy? So Don't you say anything. <laughs> For my new subscribers, my new viewers, I do have a little bit of short-term memory loss. And it doesn't affect my life hugely. I just have to be careful and make a lot of lists. Of things I don't get lost or anything like that but I do forget things in the short term and I have to make lists of things so I don't forget and uh, you know I've been playing this game since 2019 I really thought that I was playing it in 2017 but I apparently I wasn't so 2019 I've been playing this game so somehow some way uh, my video ended I still don't know why but irregardless, it was a good time to end the the uh, 
episode anyway. So thank you for watching and putting up with these technical difficulties. Things will get better from here on out, I promise. Please subscribe and like everything. And the most important thing is I want you to have a wonderful rest of your day.